if you haven't heard of Optimism, this is probably the biggest competitor to Polygon Matic, and we saw how successful that was last bull run. This will be Optimism's first true bull run, so I'm looking very optimistic about the project going into 2025. But before we get started, none of this is financial advice. I'm not paid by the Optimism team in any way, and I currently do not hold any Optimism at the making of this video. So, cue the intro and let's get this video started. Optimism, on the top 100 list on CoinGecko, currently sitting 51. $1.7 billion market cap, plenty of growth. We have a total supply and a max supply of $4.2 billion, so it's finite, it's deflationary. Keep in mind, only $1.2 billion are in circulation. So they're still going to have to release about 60 to 70% of the total supply, which will dilute the value and the price of optimism through time. Always like to go through the tokenomics first because it's very important to kind of know what type of project you're getting into. This is a little bit interesting too, considering that this is a layer two scaling solution. The fact that it doesn't have an infinite supply for a utility is interesting. I'd be very curious to see their true long-term goal, like what they expect in 50 to 100 years, or maybe that's why the circulating supply is so low so that they can continue to keep the price relatively low. So this is a layer two scaling solution built on Ethereum, has some portfolio money, and they also have the super chain ecosystem, which we can get into as well. Now, what makes Optimism different from something like Polygon is that it uses an optimistic rollup. And that optimistic rollup makes it so that it's faster than a ZK rollup or a zero knowledge rollup. It assumes that all the transactions that are going through are good. And because of that, it naturally has a faster TPS. And it's a pretty interesting solution, especially if you have good security on the back end. Now, that's its utility side. On the retail side, they're building an entire super network. So you're able to build apps directly on the Optimism network. If you watch the video that I just made yesterday about base, this is also on the base network as well, or I'd like, should say that they're working with the base network and they're basically powering base network since they don't have their own token. So everything is getting processed through the optimism super network and the super chain is always growing. As you can see, they're getting into the metaverse NFTs, the true ecosystem building and getting into the digital landscape of web three. And these types of chains specifically are meant and built for this type of activity for metaverses, NFT gaming, so on and so forth. They're fast, they're quick, they're based on Ethereum, so it's easy to build on them. And other projects can also build on top of Optimism. So let's say Nike, for example, could work with Optimism and have some of their metaverse things featured or some other parts of um, their products featured within OP built directly into the blockchain with the dApp that's built directly by the Nike team or a team of crypto developers that Nike develops. Or, you know, that's just all hypothetical. But a project like this, like I said, they're gonna compete directly with Polygon, with Engine, with a lot of these other metaverse gaming NFT layer two scaling solutions. You get a little bit of a uh, complementary project being that it's tied to Ethereum that helps Ethereum bring down their gas fees. And then at the same time, you have this retail side that can really drive price parabolic. Like I said, this is going to be the first bull run too for Optimism, which is going to make it very interesting. So if you want to dive more into the actual project, I would highly suggest doing that. There are a lot of elements that go into Optimism. But what I really want to focus on is the trading aspect of that and looking at relative price. So if we're looking at this from a long-term DCA perspective, best times to buy are in the bear run. This project was released in the bear run. So right now you're looking basically on the relative high side but pretty much range middle of bear run prices, which would have been 2022 to 2023. You're pretty much sitting range middle and you can see that volume is inflowing and we're relatively oversold on the CCI on the daily. And we're also holding on the point of control for volume right now based on the VRVP or the visible range volume profile. So all in all, this is looking relatively bullish and for a long-term DCA, this is a really good spot to potentially start accumulating for DCA knowing that you're buying at what would be considered the best time, which would be the bear market. Now, that's not financial advice, that's just standard knowledge. If you were to ask pretty much any trader what the best time to buy something would be, more than likely they would tell you bear market prices. Now, to the downside, if this did want to swing all the way to the range low, you're looking at a potential 70% loss, which is a lot. To the 2024 top side, which is the all-time high, you're looking at about a 244% play. And if this decides to pop the top at about $4.90, then you're gonna go in price discovery mode and the sky's the limit for a project like this. Especially with a $1.7 billion market cap, I could easily see this, especially in the top of a super cycle, breaking over 10 billion market cap. And you have to keep in mind that this project is tied in with base network. So all that activity and traffic from base network is gonna be feeding directly into optimism in their ecosystem. 
So, all in all, I'm very bullish on OP. I think they can have a pretty good year. And it's going to be something really interesting to watch. Again, like I said, this is going to be their first bull run. I'm a big fan of Layer 2 Scaling Solutions, if you couldn't tell. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how this project performs through the year. And that's going to wrap up this video. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I hope you have an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, depending on wherever you tune in the world. And I will catch you on the next video.